I don't know how to start this video, but I'm gonna start off by drinking an energy drink because I sure need it. So I know some of you guys might be wondering where I've been or if this is a clickbait video because if you guys cannot tell from the title of the video, I'm done with YouTube. I'm quitting YouTube. Um, I've been taking a break since graduation um, because I know the past month, early in July, I said I wasn't going to stop, but ultimately I ended up stopping just because I felt as that was what was needed. So that's where it leads us to today. I've came to the conclusion that I think I'm done with YouTube. With that said, some of y'all, or probably none of y'all, um, cared where I've been, but I haven't uploaded within almost a month. And with that said, it's because I've been burnt out, I've been drained, I've just been thinking, and I'm just like, maybe content creating, making videos isn't where I should be, it's not my passion. So I decided to just stop completely and go into a different route. No, I'm just playing. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if my acting was good enough or if I fooled anyone. Um, no, this is just a clickbait video. I am not quitting. I'm not done. Um, so with that said, cue to the intro. You guys are helping me take one step to get to where I want to be and I, it's crazy. I, I love and I appreciate every single one of y'all. So the reason why I'm making this video is because yes, I have been gone for almost a month, probably like three weeks to a month. And yeah, some of you guys might be asking where I've been, if I'm okay, this or that. As I uploaded in this video, I think it was like an update video where I was basically saying, well, I might take a break, but I don't think I will. But I ultimately took a break because it was a much needed break as I was burnt out, but now I am refreshed, full of ideas and just ready to create content for you guys. With that said, this is gonna be hopefully my last update video or a life update video for a very, very, very long time because I'm tired of making these videos because, man, I'm tired of excuses. It's time to actually just make things happen. All the stuff that I say I wanna do, I'm gonna actually do them now. So with that said, hopefully, fingers crossed, this is the last update video that you guys will ever get from this channel, at least for the end of this year or until I, I get like a million subscribers. So with that said, let's just continue on to this video as I'm going to be explaining what you guys can be expecting from this channel and what to come for the future and just where my mind is now. So to start things off, yes, if you guys can't tell, I moved back home. And what I've realized since I moved back home for the past month-ish is that I'm not gonna lie, I think my mindset changed a little when I moved back home as it was kind of like a humbling experience because for the past four years I've been in apartments with friends, roommates, this and that and to come back home to live with your parents it's not to say that I feel like a failure but it feels like I feel like what have I done in the past four years if that makes sense. It's definitely just me overthinking it as I don't really uh, feel like I've accomplished anything, but in reality, I've accomplished a lot. So it's really just my mindset and the way I think. And it's, it's a bad mindset, but that's why I needed a break so I can mentally prepare myself and mentally just come back to who I am. Another thing said, moving back home has made me realize how like, it's gonna be difficult to film videos here, but it's not gonna be impossible. Back home, we have a dog, Dexter, big boy. He likes to bark when we have guests, so probably there will be less guest appearances at home unless we're out in public or other places. Um, or also sometimes my mom, she don't be knocking on my door, so she's barging in, so I have to lock it. Uh, my dad knocks, so he cool. And also we have a random to me, but my mom's friend's son staying at the house. So we also have that here, um, but it's not impossible. I plan on taking the extra room that we have in the house after me and my dad clear it out. I plan on making that into a film room, whether it's for podcasting, whether it is for just 
skits um just basically have an extra room to film in because my room is very beat as those holes in the walls and i feel like it's not aesthetically pleasing so i want a place where i could film aesthetically pleasing videos if that makes sense the setup i have right now is not that bad of a setup as it's what's going to work for now but my thing with my videos and my content is that i want to better my videos and content as time progresses as i upload new videos the reason why i say that is because at my new job, at the new H&M I work at, basically he told me to take his pictures because I told him I make videos slash take pictures on the side. For the first time in a very, very long time, I felt very insecure about my work. I felt insecure about my videos, about my pictures. I felt like I wasn't good enough, but that's just me, my own mindset as I am good enough. It's just a mindset thing. And because of that, that made me realize and take a step back and look at the stuff I have done and critique them very hard. They say that you are your biggest enemy, and it's true. I critique myself very hardly because I expect nothing but the best for myself. And with that said, the content you guys have been getting in the past have been trash. In my opinion, they've been trash. But to you or to many other people, they are good, decent, whatever. But to me, they are trash. So with that said, my goal is to just better my content in every little thing, better the quality, better the editing, just everything, just take the baby steps, even the background, the stuff I do in the video, just basically evolve as a content creator, evolve as a videographer, evolve as a filmmaker. So with that said, that's where my mind is right now. I'm very motivated, I'm okay with being home because you know I get to spend more time with the family as, because if, you, because if some of you guys know, me and my family are not that close, but we are, I am trying to grow a relationship with my parents, mom, dad, my sister. Me and my sister, we have a good relationship. It's really my parents where it's kind of lacking, but we're growing on it. Um, me and my dad, it's kind of working because me and my dad hang out more. Uh, when it comes to my mom, we need some work. So yeah, I definitely got mommy issues. I realized I had mommy issues recently because like, I don't know why. It might just be me. I might sound bad or ignorant for this. Um, some of the things my mom does or do kind of pisses me off pretty easily. Um, it could be because of my past trauma, but you know, we'll save that for another day. With that said, what I have in store, yes, I still work at H&M, but I have plans. I have a whole bunch of things that I want to do. My plan is before Madden 24 comes out is to get my 4K Elgato so I can put it into my PC and start gaming again, bring back the what's wrong gaming. Um, and then two, I'm thinking about making a reaction channel or a podcast channel. And then three, I'm planning on making like a production team or just like a group channel with friends slash colleagues. Um, but Basically, with that is where we can create content together and basically create our own production team like BuzzFeed, but better, or like, what's another production company that does stuff like that? Um, basically, a production company where we not just grow a business, it's to create a bond, to create a family, basically. I don't want nothing fake. I want to create something genuine. And so far, it's me taking the lead and... You know, we're going to struggle because I, you know, life and, you know, but um, we're going to slowly take the baby steps to where we need to go. And hopefully we can start it soon as I have some very, 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 very talented friends that are kind of on board to help me with this. And hopefully I can bring on some other friends as some friends I've told more than others, but I definitely do plan on doing this as that's something I believe that we can create something like strong. We can create something good. If you guys want more information about that, just give it some time. Once we get more stuff on the roll, we're gonna get it out there. You know, for now, we're just, it's in the works. It's in the works. Also continuing on with like the video ideas, what can you guys be expecting on this channel? Um, honestly, you guys can probably just still be expecting the same type of videos I make because each week's video is always different than the last because one week can be a video, then it can be a challenge. Um, the videos that I have lined up for next week is going to be a vlog, a Panama City Beach vlog where I went with Madison Ahmed and uh, Desuela and Jana. Um, basically, we went on a friend's vacation, you know, because me and Madison just graduated and I vlogged some of it, not all of it, because some of it is on my channel and then some of it's gonna be on Madison's channel if she ever edits and uploaded it. Madison, I'm telling you, just pay me and I got you. 
But with that said, um, the video is almost an hour long. So I'm planning on splitting it up into like probably 15, 20 minute videos and then posting them like that. And then planning on uploading the full hour just to have it out there. Um, just let me know down below what you guys think. Do you guys think I should have it and split up different parts or do you think I should just have the full video? Um, but right now I'm planning on doing both just so that way I could have more videos out there. But also I was thinking about putting like all the behind the scenes, not scene footage in the full hour long one and taking out some of the stuff from the shorter ones. So it gives you a reason to watch it. I don't know if that's making sense, but it makes sense in my head. Another video I have in store for the month of July is a things TikTok made me buy on Amazon. So basically it's where I found a whole bunch of deals on TikTok, went to Amazon, bought the Amazon product and then tested them out. It's a different type of video, but it's something that I've been wanting to do as I wanted to start doing like mystery boxes or just buying gadgets just to play with. Um, yeah, definitely stay tuned for those two videos as I feel like those are bangers. And another video that I wanted to film by the end of this month, I don't know if it'll be out, is going to be a social experiment video kind of, because the other day I was with my family at Costco. As we were leaving, we saw a dog in a hot car with the windows up and the coworkers were mad, people were mad, just like, cause how would you leave your dog in the hot car. So that made me think about all them videos that I've seen growing up of people's babies, animals being trapped in the hot car. So I wanted to create a video where I would create a social awareness um, video where I would put myself in the hot car and see how long I could last as I think it will be a good way to bring awareness to that situation. Not only those videos, I have plans on making skits again. I plan on sitting down, writing scripts. I plan on incorporating actors, actresses, bringing on a crew. Um, by that, I mean friends. Um, you know, some old faces might pop up back on my channel since I'm back home now. So just definitely, I am excited to see what the future holds as I want to be able to create stories that revolve around me, my personal stories, or whether that's taking other people's stories as inspiration or just doing group videos with challenges or just this or that basically. I'm just excited to be back and making content. I would definitely say I'm more motivated now than ever as I really want to make this my full-time job. I really want to make this my reality. I went to school for this. Um, I have applied for some um, editing, film production jobs. Um, I haven't gotten back from any of them. And my end goal was not to stay at h and forever. So hopefully this video clears the air with a lot of things. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention is that, yes, I will continue to upload every single Wednesday. And who knows, I might upload some other days as I want to incorporate some series, like maybe like a story time Saturday or like a new song Sunday. Um, basically just some stuff like that where you guys can get to know me on a personal level where you guys get to know basically every information about me, all the embarrassing stories, all the cringy music or the cringy things I do, um, basically get to know me on a personal level and plus that gives you more content. So basically to sum up this video, I took a much needed break, I'm back stronger than ever, and I have a lot of content ready for y'all, such as a gaming channel, this channel, maybe a production team, maybe a reaction channel, maybe a podcast channel. It's a lot of things that I wanna do. And people have said that I'm very passionate about what I want to do. And I appreciate that. But now it's time for me to actually do it. So with that said, this is going to be my last update video for a long time. Unless something else changes. Because, you know, anything in life can happen. But for right now, stay tuned. Because I'll be uploading every Wednesdays. Straight bangers. I'll just be making hella videos. And just know, it's not easy being a one-man team. But anything is possible as I am my own cameraman, I am my own editor, um, actor, screenwriter, all that stuff. I'm my own team right now. So it do be tough, but this is what I want to do. And I want to give myself deadlines and this is my passion. There's nothing else I'd rather do than this. So I know I rambled for a little too much, but this is the end of the video, I promise. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, share, and your boys out.